Hey guys, how's it going? Token Vaping. So, today's review is a, is a little different. It's going to be a simple one on a new pod device, a uh, mouth-to-lung device that has just hit the market. Um, it's made by Aspire, and I, when I first saw it, I was actually really, really interested in it. So, I was actually glad that I was able to purchase one and try it out for myself. But if you haven't already seen it yet, this is it. It's called the Cobble, and I don't know if I can get that to pop in right there sometime today sorry about the focus issue but it says cobble right there on the bottom and then it says aspire on the other side and this is the shape of it and it's not anything super huge not super fancy but it's really comfortable and easy to hold and it just it it, it forms to it fits like if it's the aesthetics to it is very very comfortable um, as you can tell, it's got a mouth tip style uh, a contour to the uh, drip tip. So it basically forms to, to your mouth and it gives you a very nice tight draw on that. These are, and this is straight off the website, which I will put that link in the comment box below, but it's 78 millimeters tall, uh, 41 millimeters wide this way and 15 and a half millimeters this way. So it's not very big by any means but this thing packs a punch for what it is and that's part of what imp impressed me a lot about this it has a 700 milliamp battery that's pretty that's a pretty decent sized battery for the devices similar to this i mean most of the ones that i've i've reviewed before or have tried are like 350 400 you know in that range this is 700 that's pretty solid so this definitely is going to last you um I've been using this solidly for a little over half a day so far and the light, the power light on it has stayed green. It is not, I have not had any issues with it whatsoever so far. It comes installed with a 1.4 nichrome coil um, and the pod is uh, 1.8 milliliters. So it's a little under what most people are used to as far as um, you know, like the two mil or a little bit over uh, pod style, but 1.8, I mean, it's really not that much. Like I said, I've been using it for, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I've been using it for about half a day so far. And if you get the air bubble, I mean, it really has not changed anything about uh, the fluid that's in it. To take the pod out, it's actually really simple. If you take the rounded side version and hold it with your fingers like that, you take your thumb, where the view the fill port window is or where you can view your ear liquid just kind of pop it up with your thumb pops the pod right out but as you can tell right there you know there's really not a whole lot missing out of that pod and like i said i've been using this pretty regularly for about half a day yesterday so it does have your charge your contact points right there in the box it's basically just going to be the device with the pod your USB charge cord and it comes with a warranty card. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's okay because you don't need it. Um, but this thing is, is, is still a rock solid little device. You've got your, uh, this is your, uh, your light that goes on when you're using it and it lets you know when it's uh, fully charged, when it's half charged, when it's low on power. Red will be low, blue will be about midpoint, green will be, you know, in the higher range of the of the charge for that so when you are charging it it does go through those color cycles as well you know when it's low it'll hit the red and then once it gets when it gets to the mid range and that's halfway charged it'll start hitting the blue light and then when it's fully charged it'll hit the green and then when it's done it goes into a white and it flashes a few times and then it and then the light turns off and then it's fully charged but another thing that's impressed me with this device is the amount of uh, protection basically that they put on this and I don't know many other devices yet, as of yet that have this many but again uh, um, according to Aspire this device has an automatic cutoff it has a short circuit protection a low voltage protection an overcharge protection and an overheat protection so they took a lot of steps to basically put you know safety precautions on this and things like that to where they're basically telling you, you can use this, you know, as much as you want, however you want to use it, that's comfortable for you. We'll make sure that it basically doesn't go into areas to where it's going to become a problem or could be a problem. And that's, that's pretty impressive. 
like I said, I don't know um, of many other devices that have that much of a protection factor involved with the device itself. But it's available in five in five finishes. This is the Mountain Mist, and I, I normally I will take the black, or if there's a black and red, there is a carbon fiber one. I really like the way this one looked because it reminds me of the old um, like Asian watercolor art. And I think what it was supposed to emulate. So I really kind of like the way that that looked. They have a zebra print, uh, a wood grain finish, and then a marble finish that has almost like a, it's a, it's a dark marble, but it kind of, it kind of has like a, if you've ever seen like an abalone shell, it kind of has that style look to it as well. So, I mean, all the, all the looks on them are actually really, really, really cool looking in their own way. Like I said, this one just kind of popped to me, so I went with this one and said the standard uh, black or black red that I normally do. But beyond that, that's basically the device itself. I mean, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it, but this does pack a punch if, if you're doing just a straight, you know, mouth to lung hit on this. I mean, it's a solid amount of vapor. You get a nice you get a nice throat hit to it, but it's not overpowering um, to where it's all like scratchy, scratchy in here and you lose flavor. The flavor that I was actually, use, I'm actually using in this, I just do have to give a shout out to it. It's called Papa Bowie. It's by uh, a shop out in California uh, called uh, Vapor. It's their house. It's one of their Nixalt house lines. Um, I can put, I'll put the link in that in the comment box for them as well. But I purchased this at Vintage Vapors, New York. They're located in Medford, uh, Long Island. Great, great shop, great, great people. Definitely, if you're in that area, you, you really should um, swing by and stop in there. But beyond that, I mean, it's... I mean, it, it's a decent amount of vapor for the draw that you do on it. And it is a comfortable draw. It's not super hard. You don't feel like you're, you're having to really draw on it. Um, but it's not something to where you, it gives you that if you do draw on it a bit longer that you're going to get too much. See, and that was that's a solid cloud vapor for for a little device like this. You know, that definitely is a nice little hit. And like I said, you do feel the throat hit. But I still get flavor out of this. You know, uh, the flavor that I'm using has more of a fruity type uh, twist to it. And I definitely get that more in this type of a device. And I have tried some others that are refillable as well. And after, you know, a few draws on it, you know, throughout the day, you t it tends to get a little muddled flavor wise. Then it becomes, some of them have become like all throat hit and it kind of deters people a little bit because then it's just all like a throat, like a throat scratch, so to speak. So far, I, I get flavor every time I draw off of this. Now, because the nicotine content is higher in Nick Salts, as most of you know, it's not going to be like 100% flavor, but I get a lot more flavor out of this device than I have in most others that I have tried or reviewed up to this point. I haven't tried chain vaping it, um, mainly because I don't want to basically nick myself out on it or give my, or anything like that, but um, I do know of a few other people that I've talked to online about about uh, doing something similar to that and they said after like five six hits it, it you start to get a little bit more on the throat which does make sense because the coil is so small so it's not something that I would recommend you constantly just sit here and keep doing but out of regular usage it's an it's it's a it's a very nice smooth hit um, you do get that you do get that that throat hit for it for the nicotine aspect of it you do get flavor the mouthpiece if you can see right there right there that's a pretty decent sized mouth uh, mouthpiece right there you know like I said it is contoured for the mouth so it lets you purse your lips around this and you get a very nice tight draw off of that but there I have not gotten any spit back whatsoever off this thing um, there isn't a bunch of a juice like collecting up around the mouthpiece like I've had done, done with some um, the other thing real quick is, you know, I know in some of the, the pod styles, like in here, you get a lot of condensation buildup and things like that. I haven't gotten a whole lot yet. Like I said, it's only been a, a little over about half a day, so I haven't seen it. The fill port 
is on this rubber tab when you pull that open. But the fill port, if you can see it right there, it's actually decent sized for most most pod styles like this. A lot of them you kind of have to kind of work work your dropper or work the 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 tip of a unicorn bottle or something um, around it to make it fit. This one, it basically it takes it takes both of those quite easily so that when you fill the pod, you don't feel like you're going to end up having it splash all over the place or, or um, leak out every time you try to fill it with juice. So that's really nice too. Overall, this is a very, very, very impressive little device, um, especially if it's your first foray into uh, pod systems um, if you're not sure about a lot of them if you're not sure which one to try or start with uh, and instead of going with you know like what you hear about all the time or what your friends have um, if you're looking for something that packs a punch that's going to last you throughout the day that has a nice flavor and has you know just an overall comfortable feel for it definitely check out the cobble by aspire like i said i picked this one up at vintage vapors uh new york i'll put their website link in the in the comment box below Definitely check them out. It is by Aspire, so you know the quality of the product is there. But definitely check it out. Try it out. If you already have a couple of these, try this out. Compare them yourself. I would love to hear your comments and opinions in, my, in the comment box below to see whether or not you like this over some other ones or, you know, if there was something about it that, that you, you didn't like about it. The only con that I have with this, and it's such a small little thing, the only con that I have is that they've made this rounded all the way around so there isn't really a way to like stand this up or anything like that. So if you're not using it, it's either in your pocket or it's laying down on the table. Now, since I've had to lay it down, I haven't had any leaking issues with the pod at whatsoever yet. So that's definitely a good sign, but I will do an update to see if there is going to be issues with that further on. Now, I do apologize. I haven't meant to draw this out as long as I did. Thank you guys for watching so very much. Again, it is the cobble from Aspire. It is the new one of the newest mouth to lung pod devices on the market. Definitely impressed me with this. I'm definitely going to be using this very quite often. And I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you know further down the road if it still holds up the way that it did now. Until next time, thank you guys so very much for taking the time to watch this review. I hope this has helped you find something that you might enjoy. Um, but until next time, Vape on Vape Strong. Always truly love yourself.